Hi everybody, welcome to our latest project. We're in Manhattan Beach, California. Uh, this is Mike with Enviroscape LA, landscape contractor, uh, permaculture guy, and every one of our projects, we try to think of the pollinators, we try to think of uh, the homeowner encourage them to grow some food, but it doesn't have to look like an orchard, it can look really amazing. And so uh, about two months ago, this place was actually just dirt. Uh, There's a couple of large dogs, so I'll give you some of the parameters that we were going through. Uh, it has a couple of big dogs, Hazel, Hazel and got the, <laughs> I got the other one's name. Anyway, cute dogs, but big dogs, they like to dig. And so I'm gonna show you some dog solution so we had to kind of dog proof this we wanted to help the pollinators we wanted as you can see here here seating or entertainment and uh, so I'm gonna spend a few minutes with you to show you a how to dog proof your entertainment backyard that also happens to have a little bit of a food forest to it and so let's start here so this this right here this is a big area uh, when the concrete got laid, uh, that we made sure that there was a, a, a perimeter here that was just soil. But before it got poured, we ran pipe to it for an uh, for an autofill and also for electricity, so it could get the pump could get plugged in. We also have low voltage lights, so we ran some 12 2 wire here, and then we uh, ran it to the transformer around the house. So a, a little bit about this. So this gorgeous. Uh, water fountain here it actually is a uh, vase that the homeowners picked out and it has a awasa pump on the bottom that's pushing water up we put some small fx luminaire lights uh, over here on the bottom but we you almost can't see them because we had to make it so that the dogs won't eat them these are Mexican pebbles, these beautiful pebbles here. They're smooth and uh, follow me and we'll, I'll show you some, uh, some really cool stuff. Here's the brand new table and chairs uh, homeowners liked. And over here is, uh, they wanted to do some food production. So this is called a tower garden. So you can see, look at, check out this lettuce, how it grows. They're really gorgeous, isn't it? Never, Ever seen such <laughs> designer lettuce, right? Okay, so here's the uh, water, and inside of here, it's a 20 gallon container, and it actually has um, a little pump inside. It's about 400 gallons per hour. Cost about $8 a year to run in electricity. That pump pushes water up to the very tip top up here, and then it goes up, and it sprinkles down in the roof system, and, oh boy, I don't wanna, do too much to this. Uh, now the roots are kind of tender. You know what, I'll just leave the roots in for now, but the, the root systems, I did pull one out, the roots are about that, uh, they're about that long. So it's an amazing system. You put some um, water soluble fertilizer there, and then it just recycles the same water over and over again. Over here, brand new um, barbecue gorgeous it's it's got the, the green color they wanted everything color coordinator so it's green uh, top here you notice uh, there's a green bench over there there's the green uh, seat cushions the green fountain and then to tie in with this type of green the green and blue combined together are turquoise and so we have these little tiny food uh, forest bowls, food bowls, if you will. Now, what's interesting about this is when you look at it all around, you come around the whole thing, it's clean. What we did here was we actually put, before the concrete was laid, we laid a three quarter inch pipe that went up above, so in the middle of the concrete here, there's actually three quarter inch uh, pipe. And then what we did, this is a sprinkler head right here. So when the sprinkler head turns on, it actually, goes into the bowl and we ran the drip irrigation it's a tiny little tube we actually ran that through the drain pipe and so what you have is the water when the water system goes on it comes out here the micro spray drip and then it goes into that three quarter inch pipe that's basically a drain and it goes out into the garden uh, they have uh, some again it doesn't <laughs> technically that you could eat this this is what they call ornamental kale kale, oh, excuse me, ornamental cabbage. Here's kale, uh, here's a strawberry. Check out the strawberry on this side here, yum. 
the the strawberries you grow yourself at home are really the best tasting. Uh, we've got some basil here. Big, this is gonna become big giant artichoke. So it's gonna have to get dealt with at some point because those root systems are really aggressive, but we'll monitor it. Um, over here, we have, well on the side over here is just the utility area. It's where we have the, the lighting transformer. Talk about lights, I had mentioned that there were uh, lights, there's up lights and there's down lights. They, and uh, again, we want to remember that we don't want the dogs eating the lights, and believe me, they would. They would think they're a stick, <laughs> they would grab them. So over here, we've actually got a light. This is an apple tree, by the way. It's a Fuji apple, grows really well in the South Bay. If you live in Los Angeles area, this is the one you want to get. It's brand new, uh, it's lost its leaves, and it's, it's Got to start getting those swells, those buds to, to get flowers and then apples. Uh, there's a light right here. I'll point that out. But do you see how you almost can't see it? So the dogs can't really see it because the uh, it's kind of mixed in with, with the rocks. Now, what's the story behind these rocks? Follow me and I'm, I'm going to explain to you exactly what these rocks are. These are called Yosemite Pebble Cobbles. And what happens is if you lift these up, there's actually mulch, it's, it's a mini bark. And these are really heavy rocks too. But this mini bark, uh, what it does is we want to attract the mycorrhizal fungi. Um, there's small crystallines in, crystallines in uh, rocks basically, and bacteria and fungi. They put out the enzymes to break that down over time. And then uh, when they excrete it, that's nutrients that your soil that your plant roots can absorb plants don't have the enzymes to break down uh, crystallines but bacteria and fungi do and so that's why we put the mulch down to attract the mycorrhizal fungi in particular uh, and that will we'll keep this simple uh, that will basically feed your plants so that's why you put the uh, even if you're going to put rocks make sure you put the micro the uh, mycorrhizal food down, the, the mulch, we put about a three inch layer of uh, mini bark down, and then we will put the rocks on top. The reason we put the rocks again is because the rock, the dogs are diggers. That is how you dog proof your garden. So you can still have a beautiful garden and not have uh, the dogs dig through it. Now, wanted to point out that we originally were going to do uh, path lights. Uh, they were, their lights are about 12 inches, they have a hood on them, we we're going to put them down here. It's a real pretty light, but the problem is the dogs. So what we did here is we got the FX Luminaire makes a, a light that actually, uh, we call it a, a, like a tree light because you can actually mount these in a tree and they shine down. So we put it on a fence post and we connected it to the electricity. The, the magic of this system is that you can actually um, zone dim the light so it go, get, has a zen has an app, it gets downloaded, and then you connect it to this and you can actually um, uh, dim your lights from your phone. So for example, there's not much of a tree here, but we expect this tree to grow to about 20 feet to get pretty good size. So right now we only need about 10 to 50% of the light that comes out of this fixture to shine up because we you know, there's no, nothing really to shine up on. But come another three or four years, this thing's gonna be huge. We wanna make sure that we have the ample light, so without having to change a light fixture, we just get on our app, on our phone, we up the wattage, and it becomes a brighter light. So uh, we did install, uh, because of the dogs, we installed a marathon lawn. This should be bulletproof. We did install a Rainbird irrigation system with it. Over here, we have another bowl, same thing. Check out this uh, tricolor sage. It's kind of a purple, white, uh, variegated white and green. It's a really, really cool sage. And what have we here? Some onions, hmm, and some oregano. Yeah, a couple different types of oregano. Wow, smells wonderful. Cilantro. I bet this is going to be great for the Super Bowl. <laughs> so, so it's a. We'll call this our Super Bowl. Super Bowl bowl. Um, over here, we got some roses in, uh, we, and uh, here we have, ch uh, check out all the beautiful uh, Yosemite cobbles that are right here. And then back here, we have 
uh, some sage, we have some hydrangeas that are looking bad now because it's February, uh, magnolia tree, we've got more of the pebbles, excuse me, the cobbles over here. Oh, and where am I here? This is actually this gorgeous, notice the green color, it's the same as the barbecue. It's uh, green to be able to have a bunch of people sit here, and then uh, this actually lights up at night. It's a, it's a fire, um, uh, fire, basically, it's like a fireplace. Uh, over here we have more uh, cobbles, just filled with cobbles. We have uh, Lomandra grass growing over here. It's pretty bulletproof. Um, and then this is one of my favorite trees on the planet. This is called the Arbutus marina. It has this gorgeous, um, gorgeous, and the most, the most gorgeous uh, trunk on the planet. It's a smooth bark. It's actually related to the manzanita. Um, we have another bowl here, another super food bowl. <laughs> Love this thing. Um, and then we've got more roses. Oh, we do, want, we do want some privacy. And so we chose to go with this Caliandra pink powder puff. This thing will get 20 feet tall if they wanted to, to kind of blank out uh, what's there. And uh, it'll go about 15 feet wide. So they'll get a lot of mileage out of that. And that brings us back here to our check this thing out it's the most gorgeous thing ever this is another food bowl here's the little mini sprinkler and then check out the, the different colors of lettuce just stunning so hopefully I've uh, oh, there's even peas here <laughs> check these out these are actually gonna billow down um, I am gonna come back here and take more pictures this is just too gorgeous um, Hopefully, you'll get some ideas if you're thinking about redoing your backyard. Hopefully, this will give you some ideas, inspire you to include some food, include something for the pollinators, the birds and butterflies will be able. We left this just a tiny little bit crooked so there's less water flowing on one side so that the pollinators could come and have a drink of water. So, this is it. Dog proof yard. It's beautiful. It's got all the elements. It's got the rainbird copper shield drip irrigation. It's got the FX luminar lighting. And uh, one last thing before we go, um, you want to know what my favorite plant is uh, on the side of a house. Now, mind you, there's probably five feet here. You can't put something that is going to get real big and thick and bushy and how you're going to pass through. So this is my favorite plant in the world for this type of, of um, environment. This is the flower. Oh my goodness, check that thing out. It's just amazing. How do you find a flower like that, right? Well, this is the number one uh, plant for attracting hummingbirds for nesting in. This will get 20 feet tall and 15 feet. Again, this is called the Caliandra. So if you want something, oh, by the way, did I mention, it doesn't need a lot of sun. In fact, it can leave, live in shade, and it's extremely drought tolerant. So, they, this is the this is not the California native. It's a California friendly plant, though. Uh, the California native actually can get about maybe six feet tall, but we want our, this to get a little bit taller. Um, uh, it's called the Zapatillo or the Caliana Californica, the native one. This is uh, a non-native, but it is a California friendly, meaning it doesn't need a lot of water and it doesn't need a lot of care and we've been installing these for many many years decades and they do really well here in the beach area of los angeles this is mike with enviroscape la i just want to say that there is hope for your yard for more information give us a call visit our website www.enviroscapela.com take care